in the process. The Vancouver Canucks, and I know there were some that said they might have a chance or they could see them as a playoff team, but the lion's share of uh, of people around uh, around the NHL and fans alike didn't think that Vancouver was going to be able to do this. And here we are in a scenario on a Monday night where Vancouver, as the top team in the NHL, can clinch a playoff spot. Wild, Elliot, wild. Yeah, it, it credit to them. I mean, they deserve it top to bottom. Uh, uh, their players deserve credit. Their coaching staff deserves credit. Their organization deserves credit. They've had a really good year. Um, you know, and the other thing, too, is they stayed on, and, and the players and coaches in particular deserve credit for this, they stayed on the straight and narrow uh, considering, you know, just things that, first of all, it's a market where it doesn't take much uh, for a powder keg to go off, right? And secondly, there's been things this year <laughs> yep. that there's been things this year that could have been, you know, very, very big distractions from the Pedersen contract to everything else that's happened. Um, they've stayed up. They, they've only really had one slump. And that is really to be uh, respected. And, you know, now they've got their number one goalie out of the lineup and they're still motoring along. I, I, I really like it. I, I like the year this year. I think they've had a really good year and that's why they are where they are. But I think the, the biggest thing to there is, is just, you know, in a Canadian market, you're always going to have distractions. You know, we cover the sport very intently. Yeah. The fans love their hockey. Um, there's always going to be things that pop up, but uh, to me, that's the best thing that they've done this year is they've managed it all really well and they've continued to play. And, you know, the one thing I remember is when they came to Toronto and had a chance to, to chat with a couple of them, they all talked about how they understood what they were supposed to do when things went bad. When things went bad in the game, this is what we have to do. This is the kind of structure they've had to play with. And I've seen that a lot this year. When, when things go badly in a game, they find a way to manage it. And, um, you know, again, I think right now with Demko out, the Smith's been good, and they've found ways to win. And that's the mark of a, of a really good team. They deserve, they deserve a lot of credit. Now, yeah. you know, the one thing we're going to try to figure out here is just Lindholm's situation. Uh, he didn't practice again yesterday. I don't think they had, yeah. a, I don't think they had a morning skate today. So I have to double check that one. I'm not sure that they have one today. So we might not get clarity until just before game time about what his situation is. But you know, I, like I said, just it's just another thing that they should be able to handle in a year where they've handled a lot of things. 